Hitler himself said there are three types of white people, the Mediterranean, the Alpine, and the Nordic. The Mediterranean is shorter, the Alpine is kind of in between, and the Nordic typically is tall, white, you know, and Hitler wanted them to have blonde hair and blue eyes. Some of them have red hair. So let's look at this thing, shall we? But before I begin, I want you all to conceive this point. Rank in the eyes of mainstream society, including Bruce Lee's, means nothing. By the age of 15, there's many a white child or an Asian child who achieves the rank of black belt. There are many people in the ghetto who are just grown up getting into fights who can beat the fucking, the fucking, I mean, <laughs> the fucking shit out of them. And trust me, I've taken many martial arts in my time. I used to hang with gang members. I promise you, by far, I'd expect the average black kid from the average black household to beat the shit out of the average white black belt who's under the age of 18. Absolutely no question in my mind. Nine times out of ten at least. Now let's explore this. Because remember, martial arts isn't about beating someone up. It's about war arts. But if you're to make it about beating someone up, then black people are naturally superior martial artists. And everyone else should listen to us. Because we're in touch with God in a way that you're not. For the reason I just stated before. So either way, you should be coming to us for martial arts. Not to the liars. Not to the rich people and their fellow race. A football lineman or a bodybuilder does not make a good martial arts. I wrote this, by the way. They even have a video of a huge bodybuilder being out grappled by a jiu-jitsu ar artist. So there's a skinny jiu-jitsu artist basically wins a grappling match against this huge body white bodybuilder. I do not emphasize grappling myself because it is not good for actual combat, but good for street fight, bar brawl, and many fighting situations, including ghetto fights. So when it comes to being a fighter, the football lineman can bully people. He can beat them up. But the moment you meet someone like me who is religiously convicted, who's a revolutionary, the football guy just shuts up. He might say something smart, you know, that's subtle, that you can confuse for something that's not an insult, because he knows I'm faster, I'm more determined, and I'm smarter. I will slice him up, I will shoot him, I will bash his fucking computer over his head and stomp the life out of him. He's too slow, fat, and stupid. I'd be surprised if he could even lift his foot over his fucking waist, much less do a fucking martial arts move. So think about it. When you get these fat, big UFC fighter guys, obviously they're not martial artists, they're knuckleheads. Martial arts is about intellect, intelligence, spirituality, religion, and wisdom. The Shaolin Temple wasn't, isn't a temple for atheists. African martial arts systems, which are the first, weren't made by atheists. They were made by temple arts and tribal arts, war arts, people shaped like me. So martial arts is not for the big football lineman or mini me who says, stop saying I'm, you know, I know I'm vertically challenged, but no, 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 no. It's not for the ballerina either. It's for the war artist. That's why on the Shaolin.org, it said that Shaolin fighting makes Shaolin fighters more agile and Tai Chi makes them more stable. So the form is for the old guy who can't fight, who relies only on presentation. Therefore, the top martial artist is a younger guy or an older guy who achieves something in his youth that no one else could achieve or, or, or has bettered or has bested. And that is me, okay? Of course, you don't see any of these guys having even a year of challenging other martial artists, I have five. Five fucking years covertly drugged and on psych meds. Even if you don't believe I was covertly drugged, I'm on psych meds and I have the trophies and the videos to prove that I have over a hundred fucking victories, no losses, 15 hits from Wilder's fucking reach in 1.2 to 1.4 seconds with sparring gloves on, large sized. Oh, do you remember the helmet was on too? Yeah. Also, I have the helmet on, too, which also weighs me down a little bit and throws me off a little bit. So one must rely on striking, and if one is good enough at it, they laugh at the grappler in self-defense with no rules and compact situations with all due respect. So if someone is a grappler and says, well, I'll just take him down. We go, ha, ha, ha. These are martial arts. This is not a barroom fight. It's not you fighting your little brother like, say uncle, with tears in your eyes, buddy. 
These are war, man up. Stop being a little sissy, wrestling in a thong type of bitch and man up. For real, you're embarrassing yourself, it's pathetic. Now where was I? The bodybuilder and the lineman probably do not even have the wind or even basic flexibility. Being the most strong or the most flexible is nice, but it means dick. Sparring is all that really matters when martial artists attempt to show their superiority. Superiority. However, many martial arts competitions are controlled and the mafia may as well be paying off, paying people off because it is not valid and people throw fights and cheat and more. Do any of you doubt that? I mean, the motherfucking Italian guys, you know, and the Jews rigged the fucking World Series. Rothstein and them. You think the, these guys didn't rig Rocky's fights and shit like that? <laughs> Come on, you know they did. And that was back when the mafia was in full fucking, you know, force. <laughs> of course they did. So the only logical way that the intelligent man can prove he is the best is sparring with his own open competition open to everyone. Some competitions are black belt only, for instance, karate only, or Olympic competitions for privileged bitches who use their network to, you know, be selected to represent America. We all know that. I mean, how could you not know that? How could you not know that? Some Olympic competitions are kicks only. How stupid is that, right? That completely defeats the purpose of sparring. It has to be consistent with morality and point sparring to show you at which point you would have lost, at which point. That point represents the point you would have died, you stupid fuck. Or that you would have lost. Between the Zimbardo Stanford prison experiment, David Starr Jordan, the eugenicist, founding president of Stanford, yuppies that ruined the world going there, and the Center for the Advanced Study of Behavioral Science, how can one not hate Stanford? So again, you have law enforcement, Ivy League schools, mental health, corporate partners, for-profit colleges, you know, regular colleges, community colleges, masonry, all these groups all in on it together. They have a common goal, they have shared cultural values, and it is despicable. Now this quote I leave you, and if you're smart enough, you'll understand why this completely destroys them what's left of them after what I've just said. If you're not, please comment and I'll clarify it for you. Matthew 6, 33, King James Version. You have the 6 and the 33 for you Masons. King James Version for you Masons. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and his righteousness, not social norms, not what the experts say, and all these things shall be added unto you. Mm-mm-mm. They cannot beat me because I sought the kingdom of God with an open mind that did not allow people who take advantage of people with an open mind to misdirect me. They love their false direction and redirection. I sought the kingdom of God as an Igbo whose people had, play, had paid a great price to prove their loyalty to God and to secure their place in heaven and all the mansions that are waiting for us. As an Igbo Christian, I conquered you all. You mini-me's who focus on form like a ballerina bitch, sit down. That's an order. That's an order! I'm the top. I'm above you. Sit down. Shut up. You fat idiots, sit down. Shut up. You white boys taking advantage of your network, shut the fuck up. I'm this close from kicking all white people out of martial arts. Keep it up. And you Asians who preserved our systems by making your own. Thank you for what little good intention you had. Now it's time to give us our rightful place and to pay obeisance to the first masters who are above you all, who are black African, Benny Hassan, motherfucker.